안녕하세요. 서울대학교 보람의 병원 이호입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Iho of Seoul National University b o r a m e Medical Center. Today I want to talk about 1485 kit for mandibular posterior region. What do you think is the most serious implant complication? Personally, I believe that among different complications, nerve damage is the most serious. In extreme cases, even if implant fails, you can do appropriate treatment and place the implant again and achieve success. However, in the case of nerve damage, ways to address it is still unclear. The prognosis is unclear as well. Hence, when placing implants, you may be able to address other complications, but you need to make sure that you avoid nerve damage at all times. You need to pay extreme attention in order to prevent this. As an effort in this end, 485 drill was created. This is without wide dimension. Not just this drill, but now 1485 kit, which also utilizes one guide system, has been introduced to reduce a nerve damage possibility. 1485 kit adds one guide kit with special drills. You design and fabricate template in the same way as you do with one guide system and use template for surgery. 1485 kit is primarily for short implants. The name 485 comes from the purpose that we're going to place a 4 to 8.5 millimeter length implant. There's 6 millimeter, and here you can see that although the total length is 6 millimeters, the area with the thread is only 5 millimeters, and here it's 4 millimeters. This is the kit dedicated for extra short implants. 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter extra short implants are not available in all product lines. In the case of SS and US, the shortest implant is 6 millimeters. And if you're looking for extra short implants such as 4 millimeters or 5 millimeters, they're only available in KS and TS implant lines. 1485 kit includes special drills. Unlike one guide drill, it does not have a wide dimension and it has flat apex. This is to minimize nerve damage. The drilling sequence is not that different from the existing one guide kit. 2.2 twist drill, pilot drill, and 1485 drills are used. In the case of 2.2 twist drill, there is wide dimension, however, it's shorter than what is labeled. Although it is labeled as 7 millimeters, the actual length is 6 millimeters. Even if you go full length, you only drill 6.6 .6 millimeters. As for pilot drill and 1485 kit, the length is exactly the same as what is labeled. So 4 millimeters goes in by 4 millimeters, and 6 millimeter pilot drill goes in by 6 millimeters. As for 4 millimeter pilot drill, this is used for placing 4 to 5 millimeter extra short implant, and as for 6 millimeter pilot drill, this is used to place implants that are longer. The drilling sequence of 1485 kit is as shown. For instance, if you're placing 5.0 diameter implant, regardless of bone quality, you use a twisted drill and pilot drill. For a final drill, in the case of normal bone, you can use F5.0 1485 drill, and for hard bone, you use F5.0 hard drill. There is H marked on the drill. This drill is used for final drilling. This is the look of the actual 1485 kit. On the left is a regular hole, and on the right is wide hole. The guide types are clearly defined. In the case of regular hole, in the case of 4.5 diameter implant, there is no 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter extra short implant. The drills 
start off from 6 mm. In the case of wide hole implants for 5.0 diameter, there is a 4 and 5 mm extra short implants available, so drill length starts from 4 mm. Implant driver is used to place the implant. The placement depth itself is basically the same with one guy system. On the superior platform of the implant driver, you align the top part of the implant. The actual length may be 7 mm, but the length where the thread is is 6 mm. In the case of such a short implant, you do not align here, but you align with the line below. If the actual length is 6, but if the length where the thread is 5 mm. And in the case where the actual length is 6, but the length with the thread is 4, you need to adjust the depths accordingly with the different lines as displayed here. In the case of SS type, if the gingival height is 1.8, you can align it here, but if the gingival height is 2.8, you need to lower by 1 millimeter. and following this line, you need to make implant placement. This is a patient case. This is 64-year-old female patient with controlled hypertension as shown here in the image in number 36 and 37 there is very serious peri-implantitis. The plan was to remove implants and then to place implants six months later. You can see here, ideally we would do bone grafting and place appropriate length implants. However, this was an area where implant failure occurred, so the patient wanted simple implant surgery. Hence, the plan was to use a short implants and guide surgery. In other words, 1485 kit was planned to be used. This is simulation. And in the end, in number 36, SS implant 5.0 by 8.5. In number 37, 5.0 by 7 mm SS implant was planned. This is surgical image. Another problem that this patient had is that the patient had very little keratinized tissue, so we had to do open flap surgery instead of flapless surgery. In a conventional way, incision was made. Mucoperiosteal full thickness flap was reflected, residual bone was checked. Prefabricated guide was adapted and checking was done. Before drilling, you can see basically there is a slope here. This can interfere with implant placement, so Quest Remover is used to remove these bits. Template was adapted, and in a conventional way, drilling was done. Twisted drill was used. At first, a short one was used, followed by long twisted drill. Tapered drill. And then a depth gauge was used to check the actual placement depths. In cases where short implants are used because of proximity to the nerve, this process is especially important. Final drill was used in number 36, 1485 drill with a length of 8.5 and diameter of 5.0 was used. For number 37, 1485 drill with a length of 7.0 and diameter of 5.0 was used. Crest remover was used additionally to adjust the mesiodistally. The bone quality was harder than expected. 
decision was made that it was hard bone. So F5.0H, 1485 drill for hard bone was used, implants were placed. In the case of SS5.0 wide type, the diameter of the gingival collar is 6.0, so this cannot be placed with existing 1485 kit guide. As of yet, this is not possible, so guide was removed and implant was placed. In number 37, in the distal side, there was slight bone defect, so GBR was performed as well. Healing abutments were connected. And suture was done to complete the case. This is panoramic image immediate post-op, and this is a pre-op image. If you look at nerve tracing, it almost looks as if it's in contact in number 37, but on CT, you can see that there's gap of 1.5 millimeters. Let me now summarize. 1485 kit is for a short implant in the posterior mandibular region. The twist drill's actual length in 1485 kit is 0.4 millimeter less than what is labeled. And in the case of well, pilot drill and 1485 drill, there's no Y dimension, so you can do drilling in a safer manner. This is what I've prepared thus far if you're interested in more in-depth knowledge and a practical hands-on practice that can be useful clinically, please refer to Master Course. I look forward to your participation. Thank you for watching.